Good morning, my loves. I hope that everybody is having a fantastic morning. So, um, by popular demand, I'm giving you guys the recipe. The one I, I, I hesitate to even call it really a recipe because, um, I mean, it's just making tea and making rice. But here we go. So this is going to be the recipe for the blue tea and the blue rice. So here we go. So <clears throat> this here is the brand that I use of the Ternati flour. This is the, these are dried um, butterfly pea flowers and coffix. Anyway, so it's 100% organic and so we're gonna use this in our tea. So I've already got the water boiling here and I'm doing several things with this tea. Um, I'm going to make hot tea for my breakfast and then I'm going to make the rice, but I'm also going to make some um, iced tea for later on. Okay, so I've emptied out about, oh, I'm going to say, let's see here, one, two, three, four, five, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to say these are about 20 of these. Um, these are what these look like. These little flowers look like. So we're just going to dump these into the water. And actually, I think I'm gonna put in 10 more. And the reason for that is because I use about 10 for about uh, maybe a third of what I already, um, when I'm making a smaller batch, I use about 10. So I'm going to put in, let's say another 10. Cause I want it to be a deep blue when everything is said and done. So you can see it's already starting to turn colors. So actually, I'm going to turn my fire off and just let my flowers steep now, just like you would tea. Um, if you've got one of those little tea, the diffuser thing, you know, the little ball and chain that you drop into the water, you can drop that in. I don't happen to have one, and I don't drink tea enough that I think I would want to, um, you know, that I'd want. There. Oh, there we go that I'd want to purchase one, but you know, you never know. So anywho, um, I had the cutest thing happen to me. I don't want to say cute, hilarious. A little lady walked up to me in the grocery store. I was in um, Kroger the other day and I was standing at the lunch meat counter. And while I'm standing there, <laughs> little lady, she walks up to me. I had Bean with me. Bean is my five month old granddaughter. And the lady came up and she was oohing and on all over the baby and everything. And she said, you know, I got custody of my uh, grandson and raised him. And now he's a sheriff somewhere or something like that. And she said, yeah. And she's probably, if I had to guess, probably 80 or so, something, somewhere in that neighborhood. She was, she was older. I hesitate to call women elderly because, you know, we all age at different rates. So she might have been my age. I don't know. Anyway, she comes up and she says <clears throat> that um, she's like, yeah, she starts talking and she says, yeah, uh, my ex-husband, she's like, I adopted my grandson and then my husband uh, divorced me. She said, um, and he tried to ruin me. He tried to make me homeless but um he died a horrible death <laughs> and then she started laughing she like put her head down and she's like <laughs> i'm like okay that was kind of sinister so she says yeah he moved she he retired from ford and he moved in down to tennessee uh to a trailer that was this rundown trailer and she said you know i still got his pension and and everything she said but he really tried to make me homeless, she said. And then, so one day he had gotten into the shower and the bottom of the shower gave way. And he ended up falling through the bottom of the shower and he was there for five days before his caregiver found him. And water ran on him the whole time. So for five days, he water ran on him till he passed. And she said, then she said, well, at least his ass was clean. It was terrible. It's terrible, but I had to laugh anyway, because that was, yeah. 
be nice to people. That's all I'm saying. You never know how karma is going to come back to bite you. Okay. So as you guys can see, we've got blue tea now. So I'm going to let this steep for just another couple of seconds, but I don't know if you guys can see that or not, but it's kind of a light blue now. You'll be able to see it better in the pitcher once I actually pour it into the pitcher. But yeah. Oh, so Ternati flour has a bunch, a bunch of health benefits. Um, I'm here to attest to the fact that it does help you sleep. Um, it's got, helps you go to the bathroom. Um, it's said that it, it helps lower your blood pressure. I don't know because I just started drinking this recently. So who knows? We'll see. And you can use the butterfly pea flower as a natural way to dye things. So like, let's say you want to dye a shirt blue. You could put some of these flowers in it, you know, with some water. Um, you can make the tea. Anything that you can make with water, you can make with this tea and dye things blue, basically. So rice, grits, um, anything that's white, basically, you can dye it. Now, when I make the, the rice portion of this, you'll see how easy this is. I still season my rice and everything, and, and it doesn't change the taste of the rice. It just seems to change just the color, and that's what I love about it. So. Anywho, um, you know, like I said, it's a great alternative. Instead of using blue food coloring or blue dye, it's an organic way to do it. And from what I understand, if you put lemon into the water, it'll change it purple. But I haven't done that yet, so we'll see. So anyway, I'll be right back with you when my tea finishes steeping. All right, I am back. Back in a flash. All right, so I'm gonna see if I can do this without pouring this all over my countertop. Okay, so. Nope. I did that pretty well. Okay, so basically I'm just trying to get my flowers out. So I'm straining. I'm using a strainer to strain my flowers here. And I'm dumping my flowers out here. I got my tea to drink. And so here's what I'm gonna do here. Can you guys see this here? Okay. So, pouring this into my pitcher, but I'm straining my flowers out. I mean, of course, I guess you can leave your flowers in there if you just want them for effect. Um, Okay, so now I'm going to move this down here slightly. Um, I've got my pitcher of blue tea, and I'm going to pour out, I've got one cup of rice here. I'm going to pour the same as I would water for this, so I'm going to pour in two cups of the tea, and I'm going to put this back over. Put this back over into my pot. And then I'm going to put my tea into my pot as well. There we go. And give this a little stir. Now, for my tea, I like to put in minced onion, a little bit of salt. I'm going to be using minced onion and just regular salt. You can use sea salt, any kind of salt you want to, but I like to put in a little bit while it's cooking. So I'm gonna put in, say, 
to, eh, I take that back. Maybe a tablespoon. Not a lot's coming out here. About a tablespoon of that. A tablespoon of the minced onion. And then I'm going to use about a teaspoon, half a teaspoon of salt. Salt is to taste, of course, you know. If that's too much salt for you, don't add it. This turns out such a pretty blue. And if you want it to be a darker blue, you want it to be a darker blue, you just make, put less water in it. More flowers, less water, because then it'll make it much more concentrated and go from there. So we are going to let this, we're going to let our rice cook here, and I'll be back when our rice is done. Okay, we're back. We're done. So as you can see, I got blue rice. So I'm going to... Put the, and it's really super loud in my house right now because my grandchildren showed up and my son showed up. So, Bean is here and it's the, the infamous Lou is here. And Victor's here. And life is good. And I'm going to plate this really pretty for you guys. But this is my blue rice. But this is a little bit lighter batch than what I normally make because I was actually making this for tea too. So, but we have our blue rice. Like I said, if you want it to be a darker blue, then you make the tea more concentrated and use that. But it is delicious. And it doesn't, you now. I haven't put butter in this yet, but it's not going to change the color. But this is really good. And I would suggest that you always put minced onion in your rice because it makes it better. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning in. That's all I got. Good night.